In this video, we're going to describe a little bit about graphs for um, thermal energy graphs, and we're going to talk about endothermic and exothermic reactions. So we remember that bonds being made give off energy, and bonds breaking use energy. So an endothermic reaction is going to absorb energy from the environment, so the environment cools, so it cools the environment down, and this is going to heat the environment up. Um, when we have symbols for the energy, when it heats the environment up, it's a negative symbol, and when it cools the environment up, it's a positive. And this has all got to do with a relative amounts of the energy. So we're, if it's absorbing energy from the environment, it's using more energy to break bonds than we get back from making bonds in the product. If it heats the environment up, we're using up less energy to break bonds than make bonds. <laughs> Endothermic reactions, if we're talking about the potential energy, the potential energy of the reactants are going to change to be higher potential energy or more bond energy if these are the reactants, these are the products, and the products have more potential energy than the reactants. In an exothermic reaction, we are getting energy to come off, so the potential energy or bond energy for the reactants is less than the products. And that the enthalpy here is going to be negative, and the enthalpy here is going to be positive, because we have to use this energy from the environment to make more bond energy. So one of the things that occurs, and not to make this more confusing, is if the potential energy or bond energy is increasing, then that energy is going to take the kinetic energy from the environment is going to get used up. So this is giving off energy to the environment, which is represented by or, or pardon me, is using up the environment's energy, so it's using that up. Whereas here, we're giving off potential energy, we've got less potential energy, so the kinetic energy of the environment is going to go up. The environment is heated because this potential energy is being given off. If we can understand these graphs, it'll help make sense out of all of our uh, thermochemistry understanding related to endothermic, exothermic, and it'll make the whole unit significantly easier. So the bond energy, if it's going up, then the environment's kinetic energy or heat energy, or thermal energy, is going down. If we are giving off potential energy, so the bond energy is decreasing to become the product, that energy is becoming heat for the environment and it warms up. Hopefully this helps you uh, understand how those two things are related. And um, you'll remember that Q equals MC delta T. This is measured using a calorimeter. And what we're doing is we're measuring the effect of the energy in the reaction, which is related to the enthalpy of the reaction, right? And so the enthalpy here is related to what's happening to the calorimeter. So here, if the calorimeter is cooling down, the temperature has gone down, it's using that energy from the calorimeter. Here, if the energy is being given off, then the potential energy has gone down. 